Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome uh, to my live stream. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about creating your uh, first uh, YouTube channel, and uh, let's get started. Okay. Okay, well, welcome to my journey. I'm on a journey of getting the 1,000 subscriptions and the 4,000 uh, um, watch time hours. Um, I've already got my 1,000 subscriptions, and um, I'm working on getting the 4,000 watch time hours now. Okay, so I'm doing this live stream so that uh, I can help you to be able to uh, build your uh, channel up. And if you have got your 1,000 subscriptions, then great. Congratulations. If not, then um, I hope that I can teach you something where you can uh, learn a lot by. Okay. So let's get started. Okay. The first thing uh, that we're going to do is create a new Gmail account. Now, it's really important to um, to actually create a new Gmail account, and uh, the reason is because when you're when you are creating um, your channel, then you should be having a Gmail account that corresponds with your channel and using the the keywords for your uh, for your channel. Okay. So um, the first thing that you want to do is you want to do a little research. You want to find out um, what exactly are the keywords that are going to be representing your channel. What is your channel going to be about? And um, starting from there. Now, if you don't have vidIQ, then please download vidIQ and... Um, I'll leave a link in the bottom of uh, 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 of this tutorial. Okay, um, so let's start with the uh, step one. Okay, so step one is we've now done the research and uh, we've um, you've decided on. Uh, what the channel is going to be about. Um, uh, like, for instance, I created a new channel. It's called uh, Manifest Your Destiny. And I did some research on it, and um, I decided on where I wanted my channel to end up. And uh, that's important. You want to be in the same spot as where you, um, you have your competition. So everybody's there at the same time. And um, this is the best way to be able to be seen is um, it's just the same as if you're walking down the street and um, you're looking at some neon signs and they're drawing your attention. So you're interested in that. And um, if you're not, the person who or the the channel that actually is the neon sign out there if you're not in there then um you won't be seen so your your best chance is to see where your competition is and to try to land there with your channel okay okay so now we go down to our um you can just go to your google and um, depending on uh, what account you're in, just click on the avatar and see what account you're in. If that's the account that you want to be in, then great. So that's the one that you, you want to be using. If not, then go into uh, your avatar and um, create, create uh, another uh, um, an, another Google account. So, coming in, you're going to be um, 
into create new Gmail account. Okay. Name your Gmail account the name that is closest to what your channel is going to be. So my channel was uh, Manifest Your Destiny. And because that was already taken, I just uh, did a little bit more research and I came up with sleep.manifest at gmail.com. So I'm now using that. Okay, so after the Gmail is created, this will then open up your iGoogle portal. And your iGoogle portal, you will find where you can have different, they're called gadgets. Um, so one is the, um, the one with the, the uh, Google links on it. You have to make sure that that one's there, and it usually is is there. I am going to be doing another tutorial on actually the iGoogle portal, but right now, um, the only thing that I want you to do is to go into there and to, first of all, check out your Gmail. Open your Gmail up. You'll find your Gmail in there. You can just open that up. And then once that, that's opened up, pin that to the um, to the, the top of your browser at, in a tab so that you have your Gmail opened up. And then the next thing that you want to do is then um, see if you can add your bookmarks in and you could find that in your, in your uh, gadgets as well. And also if you wanted to add a Twitter gadget, and those are the simplest ones that, that I, can, uh, I can tell you about right now, okay? So just as a small recap, we've now done a little research. We've decided on what our Gmail um, account name is gonna be. And from there, we've also decided on uh, what our channel is going to be about. And we have a little bit of a description of our channel now. Okay. So now we want to go in and create our YouTube channel. So then you would just go into uh, creating your YouTube channel. And um, from there... You're going to do a little bit more research and to find out what is going to be the best channel name that you can name your channel. And the best way to do that is to just take a couple of different channel names and put them in the search bar of uh, YouTube and see where your channel is going to end up. And um, that'll give you an idea of what you should name your channel. Okay, um, so after you do that, then I want you to write down five or copy and paste five different channel keywords that you're going to be using to describe your channel. And this may take a couple of minutes. You just need to think about it and see, you know, what, uh, what uh, keywords that you want to use, but it should describe your channel and it should also um, tell the people what they're going to find when they arrive at your channel. So um, my new channel was uh, Manifest Your Destiny. I did some research and I came up with um, the Destiny uh, Manifest, which is a little bit of a play on words, but that is what, what, what was showing up. Um, uh, manifest your destiny, uh, create your destiny, and um, meditate manifesting, and also um, chakra opening. And that, that was just the beginning of, of the keywords 
but usually they want just five keywords to put in there for your channel. They don't let you put a lot of keywords in there. Okay. And so the next thing you want to do is you're going to do a little bit uh, uh, more of uh, research to see the keywords that you're using. And you can do this by um, vidIQ. Okay, um, just basically type in the keyword that you're using and look it up using the vidIQ. It'll give you some examples and um, some other choices as well. So now getting into creating your channel. So the best thing to do when you're creating your channel is to create a brand. And all that means is you are not using your name. It is still under your name, but the brand is whatever you make it. So I made mine uh, manifest your, your destiny as, as the brand. Okay. And um, using a brand makes it easier for people to be able to find you. And it's always good to do a little research and to see what's popular, what's trending out there, and um, what the competition level is as well. It's always good to be in with the competition, but it's not always good to not be able to be seen when you're in with the competition. So you have to make a decision on... Um, what you want your brand to be. So you do have to do a little a research. Okay. Um, you would then go into customizing uh, your channel. And then, well, that would be right beside the, um, uh, the YouTube Studio Beta, or in some cases, the uh, Creator Studio, but uh, that is actually going away. So it is the YouTube Studio Beta now. Um, that a lot of uh, channels are, are using. Okay, so now we're into customizing your channel and you're going to pick your profile picture. Now you can either use yourself as a profile picture or you can just take a picture with your phone of something that's going to represent your channel because if you start doing some research and finding other pictures that represent your channel, there could be a good chance that they could be copyrighted. So it wouldn't be a good idea to, uh, to use those pictures. Okay, and then the next thing would be your channel art. Now the easiest thing to do to, is to go to canva.ca and then when you get there, if you have to create an account, then create an account. If you already have an account, then go into create a design. And in creating your design, you are going to use the custom dimensions that are found at the top right hand side. And uh, the top right hand of uh, your screen in the, in the Canva app. And you're going to type in 2560 by 1440 and I found that that is the best to be able to make sure that you can get your channel art actually um, up on your YouTube channel and then if you are wanting to upload some of your own photos you do have to make sure that they are pings and there's uh, different types, but the ping is actually the best to work with, especially when you work with Canva because you won't be able to upload a photo unless it is a ping or in some cases a JPEG. So now here's a couple of tips when you do your channel art, okay? Make sure your channel name is in the actual center of the, the uh, channel art. So you don't want it up in the corner, uh, the left hand or the right hand corner. The left hand is where your profile 
uh, picture is going to go. And the right hand corner is not going to show on your channel. You have to make sure that it's right in the middle. And then just put your channel name and um, whatever you want for your background that you want to use. If you want to use a photo or if you're using um, different other backgrounds. And there's many different elements that you can use on uh, Canva. Okay. So to start there, uh, to start that, then what you would do is you would create your channel art or you could actually look on the internet and just type in free channel art and some places just offer you some free channel art that you can just uh, download. Um, but anyways, from Canva, you would then download it to your computer and have the, the file. The file will open when you download it in most cases. If it doesn't, if it just comes down at the bottom of your left hand corner and you can just um, right click that show in the folder and then you're going to see your um, design name. So when you go into creating your channel art and you click in to uh, either browse your computer files or drop a file in there, you can just do the right click and pick the file up and drop it right into the channel art where it says to drop the, uh, the channel art into. Okay, so then that is uh, that is the beginning. Okay, um, so next you will go to your settings and then to the advanced settings. And this is in the YouTube Studio beta that I'm working with right now. Um, the first thing you want to do is you want to authorize vidIQ to work with your channel. So if you've already downloaded vidIQ and you're using it on another channel, make sure that you authorize it to work with your channel. And here is where you have to do a little bit more research because you've already chosen some of your, your keywords and you've made your Gmail with these keywords. Now you have to make sure that your channel keywords are going to describe your channel and um, be relevant for uh, when people are typing in search engines, they are typing in certain keywords. So you want to make sure that these keywords that you put in your, um, in your channel, and I'm just going to go over that for one more a second because I think I went a little bit fast and sometimes it's harder to find where to put your keywords so go to your um, settings this is in your studio beta go to your set settings into your advanced settings okay and then you're gonna see a little uh, down a little bit down in the page you're going to see channel keywords okay this is where you are going to um, actually I am describing the uh, creator studio in the studio beta that actually comes up as a block so your advanced setting and then you can put your channel keywords there's this block that comes up and you could put your channel keywords in there and they only want you to use five. Now that doesn't mean five keywords because you could use a long tailed keyword as well. And a long tailed keywords is like three words put together and then click the comma or the, um, the enter button. And then that should create your tag. And then you want to save that. Now, I'm not sure exactly what is happening with Google Plus, but right now what, what you have to do in order to upload a profile picture 
is to actually click into that little pencil in um, in your Google Plus and open it up and it says upload a photo. You need to upload the photo first and then once the photo is uploaded, you can then choose it and then it will then go in your profile picture. Okay. Um, next, I want you to uh, go to, yeah, uh, here we, I just talked about going to the picture, the left hand corner of your channel art. That's where you find your profile picture. So the next thing you want to do is you want to go to the right hand side of your channel art. There's a little pencil there. Click in that pencil and you will then see edit channel links. And that's where you go in and you put all your social media sites. And the way to do that is to just go to your social media sites and up in the in your um, actual browser bar, you will see the actual URL. Copy that. Make sure that you're on your actual account and you're on your first page and then copy that and um, that will then be your channel link and uh, my suggestions is you can have five put your first three the most prominent ones that you're using and the choices you have for your social media sites is your uh, Facebook, your Twitter, your Pinterest. Um, you could use uh, Instagram, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, LinkedIn. And if you have a number of different Facebook, um, not accounts, but Facebook pages, then you could put two Facebook pages in. Okay. So if you have any questions about actually finding the uh, U -U -U URLs that you need for your links, I am going to find the tutorials that I did on that and make sure that I put them in this uh, at the bottom of this video. Okay. So then now you would go back into your advanced channel settings and you would then see you want to put your country in. So you just put the, the country that you live in. You make sure that your keywords have been saved and they're still in there. And also you're going to have your uh, brand name. Now you can change that a few times, but not that many times, but you can change that. And you also can change your picture. Okay. Now you also have a choice on if you want to add a watermark or not. Um, and which I am going to get into in another tutorial. Um, I have not added a watermark to uh, any of my videos yet, but you can do that. And if you do have one, you can just upload it and add it. Now, I think that this is really important. It is the upload defaults. I never really paid a lot of attention to it when I first um, started my YouTube channel. But now I realize how important it is. Okay. Um, first, you're going to have your privacy public unlisted. So, sorry, your privacy is either public, unlisted, or private. Okay. Um, I would click private because you don't want your video uploading and being live when it's not even processed yet. So, pick private. Now pick a category that you'll be creating your content for. So like for instance, if you're doing something that has something to do with people and blogs, then pick people and blogs and keep your content in people in, in blogs. If it's for other things like film and animation, then keep it in film and animation and, and make sure 
that you always upload to the same category because otherwise you will be scattering yourself around and you will not be able to become an authority on your channel for that category. Now, next you're going to um, choose either a standard YouTube license or a Creative Commons. Now, I use Creative Commons, which means that I allow anybody to reuse my videos in any way that they want to. I'm fine with that. However, there are some Creative Commons where they say, well, you can use the video, but you can't change it. You can't re remix it or reprocess it. And then there's the standard YouTube license, which means that everything that you do, that you published is copyrighted for you on your channel and you own it. And nobody else can use it. And that's up to you if you want to use that. But for me, and especially in the beginning, and especially being able to want to grow your channel, um, if you have a if you have a question, just ask me. I can see that I can see the actual chat. If you do have a question, then just ask me and I will answer it. But I'm just going down my list here of what I'm doing for this tutorial right now. Okay. So, now where was I? Um Okay. So we're still in the upload defaults. Okay. So we were talking about the license and different, uh, a license that you wanted to use. Now, something that's really important is your title. Now, it doesn't mean that you're going to have the same title every time you upload, you, that you have to keep it. You can have the same title, but you can change it as well. This is just um, in general. It doesn't mean that it can't be changed. Okay. And then your description. Your description in general. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to make sure the channel keywords that you chose are in your description. Okay. This will be the keywords that are uploaded every time you upload a video. So this is the keywords that are there on top of the other keywords that you're going to put in. Okay, you have to make sure these are in your tags. Now this is all the stuff that I found out when I first started to um, create my channel through um, trial and error on, on my part for most of it. So I am giving you all the secrets and tips and tricks and everything that I learned the hard way about how to start your channel the right way. And so that you start to build your um, channel on a solid foundation. It's all good if we rush into creating the channel and we don't take time to actually plan it out and put all the information in that I'm telling you about. And then you put your first video out and um, then you, you have to backtrack and do all of the work that you were supposed to do in, in the first place. And I did learn that. Okay. So I am passing that on to you. All this information here you will find at the bottom of the video. Everything that I'm talking about, I am um, making sure it's typed out for you. Okay, so now we, we, we did the descriptions. Now also the keywords, it's going to say tags, but they're keywords. And you're going to take your keywords that you used for your channel description and make sure those keywords are in there and also put other keywords that you feel are relevant. These are the keywords that are going to always be published with your video. 
Okay. So now you need to go back to the avatar up on your top right and click on it and go to my channel. And then into custom your channel. Okay. And make sure that you have things uh, uh, checked off. You make sure that you have your links. Open your notepad so that you can copy all of the URLs for your links in your notepad so they're all together. And also copy your description in your notepad and also title and any other relevant information that you need for your channel and just um, give your um, notepad text a name and um, either leave it open or save it okay so now we've done everything and now we've got our social media sites we've got our links we've got everything up now we need to create our first video now our first video is going to be our introductory channel trailer and um there's a couple of uh, main points that um that you can write down if you want okay five main points now believe me this sounds a little bit easy but it's really not that easy okay and especially if you're not used to actually being in front of the camera i'm getting used to being in front of the camera because i have been uh, doing some live streams but anyways get comfortable okay when you do your introductory uh, channel trailer make sure that you're um, well rested and get um for me the best thing to do is um have a shower before you actually start your uh, to do your introductory channel trailer this way you feel fresh you feel new you feel you know where you have more more um energy and excitement because I'm a very uh, calm, laid back person most of the time and I can be, um, and it could sound that I'm talking in a monotone or it's a little boring. So um, for me, that was one of the main things that I, I needed to do, right? So get comfortable, either uh, have a shower, refresh yourself or spray some cold water on your face or something just to refresh yourself and get ready. And um, the, your five main points are this. Number one, welcome people to your channel. Be very inviting and be happy that they are there. Number two, tell them who you are and, and what you are on your channel. Like if you listen to my um, my introductory channel, basically it's like, you know, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. You know, I'm glad you're here. And then I'm a teacher and a blogger on my channel. And then I post, that's number three, when do you post? This is important because a person does not want to subscribe to a channel or um have anything really to do with the channel that does not post that doesn't have new content coming out that's really important you really need to have that uh, that time and also you need to keep that time I mean even okay I say that I post every Wednesday and um, even though there are sometimes I gotta stop moving this mouse around and even though there are sometimes that um, I will post 
on Tuesday, on Thursday. Uh, but what I've realized, the best time to post is Wednesday. And the best time to do a live streaming is on Monday. And that's why I've created this live stream for tonight. Okay. So anyways, um, getting back into the, into that, um, number one, welcoming and inviting number two, who you are and what you are on your channel. Number three, when do you post number four? What do you have to offer? What are you offering people? Um, you know, basically I'm always giving away tips and tricks and secrets on, um, how to build your uh, WordPress and also how to build your YouTube channel. And then after that, then you ask for them to like and subscribe to your channel and then add something of your own. Okay. Like for me, uh, knowledge is free so we can all share our knowledge and grow together. Um, but make something of your own there. And the introductory channel uh, trailer should be between one and nothing more than that. Well, you could you could have it a little bit more, but people who are just coming to your channel, they don't want to hear a lot of different um, things. They just want to hear the five, your five main points. You're welcoming, you're inviting, you're generally happy to have them come to your channel to check it out, um, who you are and what your channel's about. Um, when do you post? And to make sure that you do post and that you always have new content coming out. What you have to offer and then ask for your likes and your subscriptions. And also remind them to hit the bell because you can um, subscribe to a channel. But if you don't hit the notification bell, you are not going to get any notifications of new videos that are coming out. Um, you may see them if they post in the community or if you check out the channel, but you won't be notified of it unless you actually click the bell. Okay. So then it's coming now to the processing of your channel trailer. Okay, um, and this is where I want to mention that this is your first impression. This is your first introduction that a person will see when they come to your channel. And I'm not an expert. And my channel trailer isn't the absolute best that it could be but it is okay for me. And also you don't want to have to change your channel trailer um, because your channel trailer is going to pick up on views and it's starting and it will start to um, propagate on YouTube. And if you keep changing your channel trailer, then you are not going to have the ranking that you need. So you have to make sure that you have a good title. And then this is where you would also check out on uh, YouTube. Uh, for, for me, because a lot of uh, my channel is about uh, do it yourself. Uh, when I made my channel trailer, I also made a video about ranking the channel trailer on YouTube and the process of actually making the channel trailer and which I will also put in the link um, of this video as well for you. But it's always good to not just do the channel trailer, but to do another video as well at Although we're kind of like skipping ahead. So let's just go with the channel trailer for now, your title description, your keywords. You're going to make sure that it's going to rank using your uh, five main elements. 
So then um, it going the, doing the processing of your channel trailer with your what, what we call search engine optimization. And this is where vid IQ is going to come in handy as well because it's going to show you relevant information. And um, I'm also going to put a little bit more information down in the bottom of this video as well. So your first channel trailer is your first video. And you want to be able to then use, and I, I need to just do a little typing here. Okay. So your first channel trailer trailer will be your first video. And you want to be able to have already, sorry, be already with all your social sites. So the social, the, the sharing is going to be the next important step, okay? Sorry, I'm just going to put that information in there. So the sharing is going to be the next. The next important step. And when you process your video, after you finish processing your video, um, you will then be able to. There's a couple of other things um, that we're gonna want to do with our uh, the channel trailer, but right now, going through the processing, when you process your video, um, you can use the sharing buttons and it will share to about seven different social medias. Now you will have to have these actual you will have to actually have these social media sites and i'm just going to name them for you so to make sure um you can write this down you should at least have seven social media sites that you can post to okay so i'm just going to go slow so you can write this down facebook Twitter, Pinterest, Blogger, Tumblr, Reddit, LinkedIn. They still have Google Plus, but I don't know for how much longer. Um, but there's also something called VK, which you should sign up for. And there's something called OK, which is actually, it looks like in another language, but there's a, a lot of people that post in there as well. And there's a lot of people that read English. You can also have Instagram if you're, um, if you're using Instagram. And also if you have a WordPress site, you can also post in your WordPress as well, okay? Now, WordPress isn't one of the sharing buttons, but you can um, either um, integrate your uh, YouTube with your WordPress, in which I did another tutorial on that just recently. Um, in which I will put in the bottom of this video, but I don't want to make things very confusing right now. Okay. So those are the social media sites that, um, that you should be signed up to. And it is important. This is how you create your organic traffic. So now you're, you're finished processing your introductory trailer and you've now shared it. And, um, and what's most important too is especially um, social media sites where you have 
a lot of people that read your posts. So make sure that you're posting to these. Um, number one, okay? Um, Facebook is really good for that. And it's so much better just to have, you could have one Facebook account and as many pages as you want. Okay, you can also not only create a Facebook page for your uh, YouTube channel, but you could also create a group, a Facebook group for your YouTube channel as well. These are all places that you would post in using the sharing buttons uh, uh, for YouTube. So it's really important. Okay. Now, the next thing to, uh, oh, one thing also I wanted to mention is the introductory trailer you need to make yourself. You have to be the person who's inviting people to like your channel and subscribe to your channel and um, using the five key points that I've, I've put out for you and which I'm also putting some links at the bottom of this video as well, okay? So the next thing that you wanna do is 